Hello, everybody. This is Frank Chen with REIClub.com. I'm excited to be here uh, for another one of our amazing REI Club webinars. We do have an incredibly awesome guest for you today, and we're going to be talking about a topic that we probably get at least the top three questions that are asked of us every single year. And we have probably one of the best guys in the industry who's going to help you guys solve that problem. His name is Bill Knoll. And Bill is actually a lawyer and CPA currently working at Nolan Companies. He is a CPA and he operates a separate law practice focused on tax compliance and tax litigation. Now, what makes Bill incredibly unique is that he predominantly works with real estate investors and knows how to really structure their business in a way that maximizes their asset protection as well as money saving strategies. Now, Bill has a breadth of experience, which gives him the ability to really, you know, understand, you know, the many facets associated with real estate and what investors need to make sure that they are financially protected. Now, Bill worked as a assistant district attorney in Chester County, Pennsylvania, a suburb of Philadelphia from around, I think, 1992 to 1994. And during that period of three years, he was prosecuting cases on a daily basis. Now, in 1994, you know, Bill transitioned to a private practice at Chester County. And for the next 10 years or so, uh, he worked as a litigator trying dozens of cases to verdict. Now, Bill's litigation experience was in the context of criminal defense, white collar crime, you know, tax compliance, and you know, general commercial litigation. Now, Bill was also chosen as a panel member of the Criminal Justice Act uh, panel for the United States District Court for the Eastern District of Pennsylvania uh, to represent defendants in federal prosecutions and multi-defendant uh, conspiracy cases. So he has a breadth of knowledge, experience um, in this space. And in 2004, Bill returned to his roots uh, and joining Nolan Company, which is a local CPA firm and founded by his father. And since that time, Bill has limited his practice to tax consulting, tax compliance, and complex tax litigation. And Bill actually has a wealth of experience with the IRS as both the examination and the appeal level. So he is also admitted to practice in the United States Tax Court. Now, again, our main reason for bringing on Bill today is, you know, we get a ton of questions from investors like, oh, what are the best entities for my real estate business? And that's what we're going to be covering today. Uh, that Bill is one of the best in the industry. He is incredibly knowledgeable, and he's going to give you guys a ton of amazing, cool tips today that are going to show you guys how to save hundreds, if not thousands of dollars in tax every year. So you can really focus on doing more deals and not worry about all the tax ramifications that the tax hungry IRS is coming for. And I know a lot of us worry about those type of things, but after today's webinar, we're going to wipe all that fear away and give you guys a very clear cut solution to that fear. So with that being said, I'm super excited to bring Bill on. I know he has an awesome presentation for y'all. Uh, Bill, are you there? I am, Frank. Thank you so much for the kind words. I will start out by saying that you mentioned you could save hundreds to thousands of dollars a year. It will be thousands of dollars every year following the system that I'm going to be describing today. So with that, I'm excited to get started and get going. Thank you. Absolutely. And awesome. And for y'all who don't know, like I've been working with uh, Bill and, and his company for many, many, many years. We have a long going relationship with his business partner, uh, which he'll probably cover up on a little bit in his presentation, but with Bill as well. And I, I too actually apply a lot of the tax strategies that we're going to be talking about today. So these are real life things you guys can do that work in today's market and for the foreseeable future. So again, guys, if you have never heard Bill speak, go ahead and remove any and all distractions you may have, close the door, and for the next 60 or 90 minutes or so, um, you're getting ready to get really awesome information. So with that being said, Bill, I'm going to go ahead and mute myself out. Uh, that usually improves on the audio quality, and I'm going to let you take it away. Thank you, everyone, for joining the webinar today. Looking forward to teaching you an awful lot today about asset protection, how to protect your assets from third-party creditors, and how to protect yourself from money-sucking lawyers, and lastly, how to protect yourself from probably the most dangerous creditor, the Internal Revenue Service. The materials that I'm going to go over today were created by my dear friend Al Ayala and myself several years back. Unfortunately, my great friend Al uh, passed away a while ago and asked me to take over the legacy. By way of background, I worked with Al Ayala and met him when I was 14 years old. And so um, our family had a long-standing history. I now operate the accounting firm that my father 
founded and have been working with Al for over a decade. So thank you for joining me today. I want to explain to you that you need asset protection, but it needs to be specifically for real estate as an investor, not for any old business baker, you know, butcher baker, candlestick maker. You want to have the proper asset protection to give you total protection, avoiding bad or negative tax results, avoiding high likelihood of an IRS audit, avoiding complexity, and avoiding high cost attorneys. Ultimately, you'll have no bad side effects. This is an educational program with proven legal forms giving you tax savings and dramatically reducing the chance of an audit. So welcome to our LLC Master Machine Asset Protection System. We're going to protect you from wrongful creditors, money-hungry lawyers, and expensive lawsuits. Again, without dealing with expensive lawyers. We're going to make the legal system work in your favor once you are a sophisticated person when it comes to understanding the legal system. You will be able to protect yourself from catastrophic loss cases, and we're going to talk about that a little, but we're also going to talk to you about how to avoid getting involved in sort of small claims matters, which can be a big waste of time, money, and create many headaches. The content of this presentation is based upon exhaustive research of all LLC state statutes, applicable IRS regulations, and other laws. These are facts and not opinions, and I hope you can understand that as we go through this. Who am I and why should you even spend any further time listening to me on this webinar today? I am an attorney, I'm a CPA, I'm a national speaker, I'm a landlord, I'm a property manager, and I'm an investor. I have experience working in accounting. Started that in the 1980s. My father ran the accounting firm that I now own. My dad grew up on a dairy farm, and so he started working in milk and cows at a young age. I didn't get to work on a farm. I got to learn how to write payroll for our clients when I was about 14 years old. So I studied accounting. I then went directly to law school where I was hired as a prosecutor, a prosecuting attorney. After I left that, I became a partner in a law practice. During that time, I was selected for special assignments by state and federal judges, more complicated matters such as RICO suits, chop shops, sort of larger conspiracies where they didn't want to appoint someone who would be sleeping during the trial as you sometimes hear. So the last 10 years, however, I've limited my practice to tax and business entities. How about Al Aiello, my co-author in this program? He was also a national educator, specifically very knowledgeable about wealth protection. He was a real estate investor. He was a CPA, and when he passed the exam, it was incredibly difficult. Only 2% of people passed the exam the first time. He was one of that 2%. He obtained a master's degree in taxation, a graduate degree. Did so well that upon graduating, the head of the department, the taxation department, asked Al, would he create a class? And so he developed a class for tax practice for real estate. And so that's sort of the germination of some of Al's uh, experience before becoming a national speaker. So let's move on. As a real estate investor, understand this. You can be sued by anyone, anytime, for any reason. One catastrophic loss can wipe out you and your family. Even if you win in a lawsuit, you can still be wiped out by high legal costs, business losses, time, expense, and stress. I will tell you a short story. As a litigator and as a prosecutor, what I can tell you is I spent years in court. I was very comfortable in court. I did not have any kind of stage fright when I was in court until, and this is the big until, until I was called as a witness in a case. All of a sudden, I had no control in the case. I was a witness. My judgment was being questioned, and I can tell you that it was incredibly stressful for me. For someone who had years of experience in court, it was a stressful proposition. So what I can tell you is you want to avoid having to go to court, even if you're successful, just to avoid the stress alone. Typically, the only ones who win in a legal action are lawyers. Everyone wishes they never had to get involved in a lawsuit to begin. Now, you got to understand that real estate is a high liability risk asset. 
The reason is that it's a appreciating asset. There's equity continually to be created. There's lots of various regulation. Is because it's physical, lots of people can walk around or walk at it. You can have um, potentially tenants. You can have guests of tenants. If you have commercial property, you can have patrons of tenants. So there are lots of ways that someone could potentially be on your property, somehow be injured, and want to pursue a claim. So let's talk about insurance. First of all, I want to make sure that you understand that insurance is necessary. You always have to have it if you have any form of mortgage. But there are certain things that insurance doesn't cover. So you do have liability insurance and should, but it doesn't protect you from other types of matters. For instance, you can have disagreements with tenants. You can have some kind of claim that you do not have a habitable property that can result in the imposition of a claim. You can have disputes or disagreements with contractors. You can claim that they didn't do work in a proper workmanlike fashion and then they sue you. If you have any properties with partners, you can certainly have disagreements with partners about how things should be handled. Ultimately, there are other people you can deal with, real estate agents, vendors, etc. All of these things can lead to costly and aggravating, time-consuming lawsuits. Let's avoid it. Insurance is not going to protect you against those types of circumstances. Also, insurance is not going to protect you in the event of some kind of environmental asset. Buried tanks are always a big one, lead paint, mold, asbestos, fair housing violations. Insurance isn't going to help you cover in that. Insurance is not going to pay for attorney's fees and court's costs regarding such an uninsured legal actions. Also, Insurance does not protect you in the event that your claim exceeds the limits of liability. Let me explain that. Typically, in most states, a policy, a general liability policy or a homeowner's policy will have something like a $1 million limit of liability. What that means is if there is a loss, the insurance company pays up to the limit. In this case, in my example, $1 million. I want to tell you a quick story, and this is a true story. It involved a partner of a friend of mine. My friend was a surgeon, and uh, he was in a pretty good-sized surgical practice, and my friend had a partner who was having a very large home built, almost a, you know, a, you know, eight, 9,000 square foot home. Uh, it was going to be like the life home for he and his family. During the process of having the home built, this gentleman was living in a small, modest home, and uh, he and his family lived there. So one evening, he drove home from work. It was in the midst of a thunderstorm. He got out of his car, and at the precise moment that he got out of his car, there was a heavy amount of wind, and there was a large tree overhead which hadn't been uh, pruned properly, as a result, a large limb fell and struck this gentleman. It paralyzed the unfortunate man, and so he was no longer able to work as a surgeon. In a case like that, the loss will be something approaching $10 million because he will not be able to earn nearly as much money acting as a sort of an ordinary physician as he would as a surgeon. And so that person who owned the home and didn't have the tree properly trimmed would have a lawsuit and certainly making claims for an amount exceeding $1 million. That is a catastrophic loss case. I am going to explain to you that with a properly structured LLC, you don't have to worry about losing everything in the event of a catastrophic loss. Ultimately, insurance is not a way to prevent lawsuits from happening. So let's talk further now about financial privacy. When you own assets in your own individual name, people are aware of the assets and the equity that you have in those assets. There is no financial privacy. We're going to show you how to maintain financial privacy through the proper form of entity structuring. We're also going to teach you how the proper amount of asset protection will defend you against an IRS audit. A properly structured asset protection strategy should support ways to reduce your taxes dramatically. 
when you have a properly structured LLC, it protects you against all these various liabilities and consequences. It has nothing to do with insurance. Today I'll teach you about the hidden powers of a limited liability company, how to save you thousands of dollars. Let's talk about that just for a moment. People seem to get confused because limited liability companies have tax consequences. If you ever go to an accountant or a tax preparer and you say you have an LLC, they will then ask the next question, which is what tax classification does it have? There's a reason for this. The reason is relatively simple. LLCs became more heavily utilized in the early 1990s throughout the country. And if you remember back in 1986, there was a substantial rewrite of the Internal Revenue Code. When LLCs came around, the IRS didn't know what to do about them. And like any good bureaucrats decided, let's pretend that they don't exist. And so what they did was they said, when it comes to an LLC, we are not going to create a separate tax classification. We are going to keep the ones that already exist. So if you have an LLC and there's only one owner, that's called a single member LLC, it is generally treated as what's called a disregarded entity, meaning that you file income and expenses on your personal form 1040, unless you would make an election to treat the LLC as a form of either S Corp or C Corporation. Now, if you have an LLC with more than one member or owner, the fact of the matter is that by default, you will be treated as a partnership under the Internal Revenue Regulations. You will file a partnership tax return unless you would make an election for either a S Corp or a C Corp. So basically, first thing you got to understand about a limited liability company is that doesn't answer the question with regard to the IRS. You have to decide it's an LLC and then next, what is its tax classification? So we're going to move ahead now. I am going to tell you how to fix, even if you've got an LLC, but you don't have it properly documented, how to fix that as part of this program. And by the way, at the end of this program, you're going to learn how you can get help with free filing of your limited liability company in any state. Remember, an LLC is ultimately a entity that is created under each state's law, and the owners, that would be shareholders in a corporation, but in this case in the LLC, the owners are called members. Those people have their liability limited to the, in essence, the assets or the equity within the limited liability company. Remember, you want to have a properly structured LLC. I'm going to explain to you why our system has the best structure for you. So we're going to quickly run through the pros and cons of other types of entities so that you can see the entity structure that we are suggesting is the best one for real estate investors. First of all, LLCs give you liability protection, which means that your personal assets are not exposed to loss in the event of a claim by a third party. So they give you liability protection just like a corporation would, but it doesn't give you some of the tax complexity that a corporation has. LLCs can have the great advantages of being a general partnership while still avoiding personal liability that an ordinary general partnership gives to those partners. Limited partnerships give asset protection. However, they do not allow you to take advantage of some of the great tax benefits that real estate gives. And for that reason, although they protect you from liability, they give you bad tax consequences. LLC members also, once they understand this, can establish how to avoid passive loss limits so that you are able to write off any real estate rental losses that you have against other income that you may earn. This is something that neither a limited partnership nor a family partnership can offer to you. LLCs are not subject to the great tax pitfalls of an S Corp. By the way, my dear friend Al would say, what does the S in S Corporation? stand for? Ultimately, it stinks. That's what it stands for. I know that there are people saying my accountant has told me I should be an S corporation. What I will tell you is this. If your accountant has told you to be an S corporation and you're engaged in lots of buying and selling of real estate, 
they have deemed you to be what's called a dealer, and that is their way to reduce the tax consequences of being a dealer. The position that I take is that you are not a dealer for most people and that you shouldn't elect to be an S-Corp to reduce taxes that a dealer would pay. I know you probably have heard from some people that an S-Corp is the way to go. What I can tell you is I'm available through my program offline to answer that question in more detail. By the way, S-Corps are the most highly litigated entity because you must pay yourself a reasonable wage, and the IRS looks at this very carefully on a frequent basis. Once you have to pay yourself a reasonable wage, now you've got to pay FICA and Medicare taxes, which you otherwise wouldn't have to pay if you are in a partnership and earning passive income. There are also limits on how much of a loss an S-Corp can deduct. So this is true despite what you've been told in the past. Let's jump ahead. I want to show you. Ultimately, an LLC tax as a partnership is superior to a general partnership, a sole proprietorship, a limited partnership, a family limited partnership, land trust, which is really not a tax entity in and of itself, S-Corps or C-Corps. LLC's tax as a partnership have really no disadvantages so long as they are properly set up and have the right documentation. Unfortunately, most people that have LLCs have not done that. So one of the things that we run into frequently when I speak at events is should I use a place like Nevada to form my entity? We're going to touch on that in a moment, but generally the rule that I recommend is that you should create the LLC in the state where you anticipate owning the most property. Ultimately, the reason for that is if a lawsuit is filed, it is going to be filed based upon the location of your real estate, and that state's law will control. So those benefits purportedly, and let me just jump ahead, courts will look at the physical jurisdiction and physical location. And so what you're doing is you are going to be subject to those laws anyway. You may as well just realize you've got to follow the state where your assets are located. If you do have an out-of-state entity, you will have to what's called register the business as a foreign entity in order to be authorized to do business within the state where you are acquiring real estate, renting real estate, or selling real estate. So very quickly, I'm going to go through and talk about the various facets and why an LLC, tax as a partnership, is the most beneficial for people engaged in real estate activities. So we want to create the structure that legally protects your assets, giving you liability protection, as I've already discussed. We want to show a way to make you pay the least amount of taxes legal under the law, and we want to reduce the chances of your return being selected by the IRS for audit. Ultimately, a, in real estate, if you're a real estate investor of any sort, you want to have a limited liability company which is taxed as a partnership. If you look at this slide, you'll see that it gives limited liability under the legal facet of the review. Under the tax facet, a partnership gives you flow-through tax benefits. Flow-through tax means that the partnership at its own level does not owe any income tax to the IRS. Instead, the partnership will file a tax return and then issue what's called a Form K-1 to its owners. That K-1 is kind of like a beefed up W-2. What it will list is the share of income and deductions of each owner, which they then turn around and put that information onto their personal tax return. And then we look at the IRS facet. The fact of the matter is that partnerships are audited much less frequently than are either Schedule C or Schedule E. Now understand that in order for this strategy to be most beneficial to you, you have to segregate your business activities and business income and deductions from your personal activities and your personal uh, expenses and income. So let me touch on that a little more fully. I always explain to people that what you don't want to do once you have an LLC set up is take the shortcut of potentially paying your home's cable bill 
or paying for groceries out of the bank account that you will create for your LLC. That is a big no-no. That is commingling of funds that creates an audit nightmare in the event that you're audited. And also, it can result in a loss of liability protection for your personal assets. Instead, of course, I recognize that you all must have money to live to pay your personal expenses. The instructions, the advice that I give is that if you have money in your LLC, you cut a check from the LLC to you personally. So if you're Bob Jones, the LLC cuts a check from the LLC to Bob Jones personally. Bob Jones then deposits that check into Bob Jones' personal account, and then Bob Jones pays his cable bill and buys groceries out of his personal account. What you're doing then is you're maintaining segregation of your business income and deductions and expenses from the personal income and expenses that you have. That is critically important. Ultimately, we are going to establish that you are a partnership and therefore you are going to file a tax return as a partnership. Income and expenses for your LLC will not be reported on your Form 1040. They will be reported on a Form 1065. That's what partnerships file. And then the partnership will issue K-1s to the members, the owners, and they will take that information and include it in their personal tax return. By the way, many people think that single member LLCs make it easier to file taxes. The problem is twofold. First, you can have the veil pierced. Veil piercing is the idea that under certain circumstances, the court ignores the existence of an LLC. The primary reason that the courts do that is because people have commingled their assets, income, and expenses to such a great degree that the courts can't decide where the LLC's business begins and the owners of the LLC's personal activities end. And so they are so intertwined with one another, it's almost impossible to pull out the business from the personal. And therefore, they deem the situation to be an alter ego, that's the term that they use, a legal term, and they agree to pierce the veil of liability. And now, if the veil has been pierced, any losses, any claims by third parties can result in the loss of your personal assets in addition to any assets that your LLC has. So single member LLCs are much more easily to have the corporate veil pierced, the corporate veil LLC liability veil pierced, I should say. The other thing is single member LLCs create much higher audit risks because you're filing on a Schedule C on the Form 1040 or a Schedule E for rental income and expenses. People always want to know why. I will tell you why. The primary reason is partnership tax is very complicated, the hardest thing to understand in the Internal Revenue Code. Because the IRS has generally limited resources, they spend less time training people to audit partnerships than they do having people audit 1040s with Schedule C's and Schedule E's. So if you want to reduce the chance of being audited, one of the big ways to do that is not needing to file either a Schedule C or a Schedule E on your personal tax return. Now, what if you're a single person and you say, well, how do I create a partnership? It's just me. What you do is you find a person to be a partner. If you're married, you might as well make it your spouse. Whether you like it or not, they're a legal partner with you under generally state family law concepts anyway. You can have another family member, mother, father, adult child, or you could actually create a separate entity that you own. In this case, an LLC taxed as a C-Corp. Because an LLC that you elect to have taxed as a C-Corp will get a different EIN number from the IRS, you can have the LLC taxed as a C-Corp own a 2% interest in your LLC that you're investing in real estate, and then you as an individual own 98%. This gives you the ability to file a partnership tax return, even if there's not another human being you want to be in partnership with. Ultimately, the benefit of this is that you get additional deductions. Non-taxable fringe benefits are something that C-Corps are a great tool for. I can't spend much time talking about it now, but it's in the program that we're going to offer you at the end of the day. 
ultimately understand this when you do engage in non-taxable fringe benefit payments you are moving money from one pocket to another it's all yours but it exempts certain expenses from being taxed so that's the best of all worlds that can save you several thousand dollars a year the biggest perk the non-taxable perk that a c corp has is owner issued health insurance which otherwise cannot be deductible now the other thing is once you have an llc set up especially if you're new you will be in a better position to fully and safely deduct your real estate education travel related to education and sort of getting started expenses and this is true even if you've not yet closed on a transaction so that is a great benefit we talked briefly about veil piercing ultimately that is the biggest reason you want to avoid having a problem where your assets are commingled your personal assets and the LLC so the kryptonite as al wrote back when he was a big superman fan the kryptonite against piercing the veil and protecting your personal assets is entity formality with complete properly worded legal documentation for your LLC with proper entity documentation you are showing that you are acting as a business when you are doing business as an LLC and you are acting on your own personal accord that is by having the proper system of formality and documentation many people seem to think that if i'm just a small time person getting started i probably don't need as much documentation that is absolutely incorrect the earlier you are in the process of getting started the less income that you have the more critical it is to have proper documentation in order to be able to deduct your expenses you know one thing people seem to think is that by filing articles of organization that is the most important document to the creation of an LLC that is absolutely false the articles are the only public document that's generally in the secretary of state's office all they do is put the world on notice that you've created a limited liability company they do not govern the operations of your limited liability company and they do not determine who the members or owners of your limited liability company are those are the critical factors when you are structuring your business to protect your assets ultimately the four most important documents that you need to have to run your LLC properly and protect your personal assets are an operating agreement minutes of meetings LLC certificates of ownership and resolutions it's the operating agreement that is the most critical of all it governs how you are going to run your LLC it is the heart and soul of the LLC and this gives you the ability to limit minority owners membership rights the operating agreement that we're going to offer to you is specifically designed for real estate i've been at events and i've heard people say you know most of the operating agreements that are created especially by lawyers or an online service are very broadly written typically saying something like the LLC the limited liability company may engage in any legal business within the state of x and so what that does is that makes it easy for any business to be pursued it prevents an attorney from being sued down the line because they didn't contemplate other activities the problem is that it doesn't give you as good of an amount of tax protection of asset protection so we've got an operating agreement that is specifically designed for real estate people engaged in real estate our operating agreement includes 240 provisions covering every legal facet of your operations and this is critical to protect you from claims that your personal assets should be exposed to third party claimants a properly designed operating agreement for real estate should also include tax provisions which authorize and support many tax saving strategies which can be completely backed up by tax law citations and also to do this in total IRS compliance to ensure the LLC is operating legally another critical entity formality is the creation of minutes and resolutions these things show that you are engaging in business like activities 
that the individuals making decisions for the business are documenting that the business is engaging in activities and they are not personally engaging in activities. The courts have stated that actions without minutes can make LLCs personally liable or bind an LLC to unwanted transactions. The reason for this is that when you're not showing segregation of governance activities between individuals and the LLC, you are potentially creating this intertwining of interests that then the court does not want to try to unwind. So you want to have meetings and minutes, but there's a benefit. Here's a tax tip number one. Have your documented LLC meetings take place in a nice place. You take a three, four day weekend somewhere nice, have a meeting, and you get to write it off. That's what companies do all the time when they have an off-site meeting. Do you think they don't write off their off-site meeting trips? Well, you are absolutely welcome to have a meeting off-site and engage in business thoughts and processes and then document those through the use of minutes and write off a trip. Uh, a next important LLC record that you need to consider is the issuance of membership certificates or units. This is the equivalent to physical shares of stock that will be issued for a corporation. So we are going to create a physical certificate to show that you have been following all of the governance procedures. The last important document are resolutions. So resolutions occur generally, they're typically purchase and sale issues, but they're written authorizations by the members for the LLC to pursue a certain action. For instance, to buy a property or sell a property without the necessity of having a formal meeting. So resolutions are done in lieu of holding a formal meeting prior to a significant transaction. Now, legally, if you don't have the operating agreement and these other forms of documentation, your LLC can be collapsed, the veil pierced, and your personal assets absolutely exposed. And again, especially true for a recently created LLC or an LLC that does not have the proper documentation. On the tax side, the IRS is a huge creditor. So there are thousands more of these disasters that can happen, which prevent you from being able to take all the deductions that you should be able to take when your LLC is documented properly. You know, many people create LLCs with an online service. They spend hundreds of dollars, but they still lack the proper documentation to protect themselves. They have no operating agreement, or could be even worse, an operating agreement not specifically designed for real estate. So. How many people want to avoid a problem like this? I'm sure lots of you are thinking to yourself, boy, I don't have these documents, and I wish that I did, so we're going to show you. By the way, you may have heard about going to Nevada on a junket it, for whatever reason. For whatever reason, it seems as though that pulls in a lot of people, and uh, I've seen people be charged $10,000, 12000 for entity structuring, which is harmful to them. So we're going to offer you a very reasonably priced program. It's not going to cost you the $10,000 that many of these Las Vegas or Nevada promoters seem to want to use. If you don't have the proper documentation, you're going to pay the consequences of that. So who'd like a high quality, low cost solution without expenses lawyers where you have total control? I will tell you who. You, that's for sure. So you're going to hear Specifics of our educational program and document creation system, this is ultimately the great system for all types of asset protection. And you're going to do it without bad side effects, expensive lawyers, or excessive complexity. So let's talk about the most critical document, giving you an impenetrable fortress of asset protection. Our superstar document is our operating agreement extraordinaire. This is to be used in all 50 states and in, can also be used in the District of Columbia. This is specifically designed for real estate. It's 121 pages long. If you've ever had an operating agreement drafted, and I did these when I had my law practice, maybe there's six or seven pages. This is 121 pages. It acts as a business plan to support all of the activities that you are engaged in as a real estate investor. And this is especially important for people who are newer in their journey to investing in real estate. We are going to give you legal protection. We include tax provisions. And we show you how to comply with all IRS rules and regulations. This will give you 
an ironclad legal shield and support your tax savings needs. It will give you all of the proper language, saving you from disputes with tenants, contractors, partners, and others. So just by way of showing you some of the materials that are in here, these are the various headings that are included in our operating agreement. These are paragraph headings that cover what is included in the operating agreement that we've got. You can see you've got issues with regard to death, the course, and incompetency. That's always critically important if you have partners. There's arbitration and member disputes. Again, how to handle tenants and if you're landlording, landlording provisions, dealing with software, actions without meanings, et cetera, financial and accounting issues, requirements for the type of insurance. So those are some of the 240 provisions that are included. We got a testimonial letter from Lee Parker who said our operating agreement alone is worth $10,000. Our LLC master machine asset protection system has the best operating agreement. It's packed full of details you need to protect yourself and your assets. We find it extremely comprehensive and helpful. That was a testimonial sent by our great friends Kurt and Tanya Kuffner from Minnesota. Plus, and this is critical, you will never find another LLC that includes tax provisions. So let me show you this. If you notice, each one of these has a heading for a tax provision, and then we've got citations to either the tax code or a tax regulation. I can tell you why this is so important. Because of my background as a litigator, I'm oftentimes referred clients who are being audited by the IRS. And in my experience, what I can tell you, is generally the auditor's job is to close the file. They don't earn more money and they don't get promotions by, in essence, collecting more or assessing more tax. The primary determinant of how well they're doing within their department is how fast they close a file. So in my experience, when I give them the various laws to support the deductions that we've made, what I'm really doing is I am making their life easier so that they can close their audit more quickly. So what I can tell you is that most auditors are only looking to get their job done. They want the citations to be able to give to their managers in case the managers ask, well, what are you relying on to come to this determination? So it's our operating agreement that we provide to support the deductions, which helps the auditor. Some people seem to think that auditors or I, as a CPA, know everything that's in the Internal Revenue Code. But if you know anything about the code and the related regulations, we're talking about 20,000 pages plus cases, which is an interpreted thing. No one knows even one-tenth of it. And so part of the job of someone defending a taxpayer in an audit is giving the authority that IRS agents can rely on in order to sustain what they call sustain a deduction. So you've got all these materials included within your operating agreement. And also, we've got a special provision to authorize and support fully deducting real estate, education, and travel. This is critical, and this is true even if you're a beginner and don't yet own any properties. We're going to show you how to safely claim these things on your tax returns, and we include the exact wording and tax law citations to scare the IRS away. Another testimonial, with this new system strategy and support, myself and my CPA are confident to fully and safely deduct my real estate education, saving me over $5,800 this year. So in the past, one of the problems that people had is they did not have the resources to have such a comprehensive legal document put together. What I can tell you is when I worked in my separate law practice before I returned to the CPA practice that I now run, I did create entities and established LLCs. And if a client came to me and said to me, I need an operating agreement that includes, in essence, a drawn out business plan for real estate investors covering all aspects of real estate related activities. Also, I would like you to include tax citations to act as an audit defense in the event that I'm audited in the future. And also, I'd like you to include statements that are in compliance with all IRS rules and regulations. I would tell that client, listen, this is gonna be a big order. 
it's a lot to get involved with, and I don't know how much it's going to cost you. I'll have to charge you hourly, but I need a $5,000 retainer, and I'm sure it's going to cost more than $5,000 to get an operating agreement like that created. Of course, you don't want to have to spend that kind of money, so we are offering you a program that gives you access to our operating agreement. So now, for the first time, we give you a document management tool to create these powerful documents instantly without manual preparation, just filling in a few blanks. So I'm going to show you now the limit of information if you get this program that you will need to put into our document creation system. You will need to list the state where your entity is created. You will need to list the date it's created. You will have to list the name of the LLC and the members and their percentage ownership. Now, by the way, I think it's really important, people always ask me this, can I use this program if I've established an LLC but I don't have all the documentation? And the answer to that is absolutely yes. That's one of the primary reasons this program was developed. So for those of you who have an LLC without very good documentation, what you'll do is when you put the date in, you're going to put the date that you filed the original articles of organization. If you are a person creating an LLC from scratch, generally the position I take is that it begins on the first day of the calendar year. So that even if you file articles of the organization, let's say in October or November, you can report the income and expenses of your LLC for the entire calendar year beginning January 1. So in this example, January 1, 2016, even if you only create your LLC with the state on December 1st. So once you put this information into our system, then bingo, these documents will be instantly and simultaneously generated. Our operating agreement, minutes of a first members meeting, minutes of an annual meeting, membership certificates, and resolutions. Plus, we are also going to provide to you a special operating agreement if you want to have this LLC you're electing to have packed as a C Corp in order to be able to file a partnership return because you don't have any other individual you want to be a partner with. So that second special operating agreement will also be available to you. That would give you the ability to generate some additional tax savings and deductions. Plus, we're going to show you how to automatically and quickly remove LLCs and members. All of these documents are properly worded, already done for you to protect you and your family, again, while avoiding expensive lawyers and oftentimes lawyers who do not know an awful lot about real estate investment as a business. Again, this could be thousands of dollars typically and nowhere are you going to get these types of documents. Here's another testimonial. With the LLC Master Machine Asset Protection System, real empowerment to protect my assets is at my fingertips. It's very simple to understand. Best of all, the legal paperwork is created with our AutoDoc prep software. With the push of a submit button, you get the operating agreement, minutes, membership certificates, resolutions, makes you legally and IRS compliant instantly. Hands down, it's the best investment I've made. Phenomenal work. Thanks for what you do. And that's from John Gonzalez, who's a real estate investor. Plus, again, these documents can automatically replace your worthless documents if you didn't create a good operating agreement, if you haven't established minutes of initial meeting or annual meeting minutes. So we can fix the sort of the bad things that you've done. We can unscramble that egg. You're not reinventing the wheel. Like magic, now you have a powerful LLC wealth protection system saving you lots of money over the years. There's a big problem with the IRS, which we're solving with the LLC operating agreement. Specifically, if you are a new investor and you've spent a bunch of money, but you haven't yet established an LLC and you're worried about being able to take the deductions, our program is going to allow you and authorize you to take the deductions under the IRS rules. That is solved with our new operating agreement extraordinaire. Once you have established the proper legal documentation, you can present these documents in the event that someone's threatening to sue you. What I call this is the brother-in-law letter. Everyone these days seems to have a brother-in-law or friend or someone they know who's an attorney, and they're oftentimes asked, will you write a letter and scare so-and-so into paying me what they owe? And so 
oftentimes it's easier to say, okay, I'll write a letter, but I'm not going to represent you, than it is to say no. And so what they do is they say, hey, if you don't pay this person what you owe under this contract, we are going to pursue a legal action against you. And that's a typical letter. So once you have the power of these documents in your hand, you can use them to defend yourself. And I'm going to show you how with our power attorney letter, this is something that will be included in our program that you can acquire today. So first of all, this was a student, Natasha, who got a brother-in-law letter saying, you better pay $11,000 to this contractor or else. And this was Natasha's response. To your attorney, preferred property associates, LLC, engage your client to do contract work on one of PPA's properties. According to the terms of the contractor agreement with PPA, the contractor did not do a satisfactory job and therefore is not being paid the balance. As Al used to say, these are your torpedoes, number one. All agreements, correspondence, work orders, and company resolutions with the contractor were fully executed and done in the full legal name of PPA LLC as a separate state statutory entity. Next torpedo, PPA LLC has totally complied with all necessary entity formalities, including but not limited to a comprehensive operating agreement, minutes of meetings, resolutions, certificates of ownership units, all fully executed under seal, notarized on file. Next torpedo, all LLC tax returns have been timely and properly filed with the appropriate taxing authorities with total compliance. And the last torpedo, also the properties are heavily encumbered with debt, leaving negative equity. Sincerely, Natasha Pizzarello. Does anyone sue someone with negative equity? Of course they don't. Wham, pow, ouch, that's what Al used to say in the old Batman TV show. As a result, after sending that letter out, Natasha never heard back from the attorney. And we suspect that that was because the attorney said, hey, this person knows the system. She knows how to drag this thing out. And you are going to spend more than $11,000 in order to win this case. And by the way, even if you get a judgment, you may not be able to collect it. That's one of the things a lot of attorneys do not explain to people is that Winning a court case and actually collecting money on a judgment are two very different things. If there's negative equity, there's probably no money to be had. So once you understand the power of the documents that you've got in your possession through our Asset Protection LLC system, then you can use this power attorney letter. Again, I'm not suggesting that you would do something unethical or immoral or illegal, but what I am telling you is if you get in a disagreement, a good faith disagreement, and you use this document, more often than not, the lawsuit will not be pursued. As a result, Natasha saved at least $11,000. And our power attorney letter is another example of effective lawsuit prevention. Included, we're going to show you 16 entity formalities. They're included in the operating agreement to avoid veil piercing, which would expose your personal assets to claims by third-party creditors. We're going to show you how to transfer property you own in your individual or personal name out of your name and into the LLC while avoiding transfer taxes, the due on sale clause, and other costly IRS traps, saving you thousands of dollars. We'll include how to specially allocate income or losses in order to give one partner more of what they need. And that's permissible. Most CPAs do not know how to do that. We'll show you how you can extract cash tax-free out of your LLC instead of having to pay tax on highly taxed W-2 salaries. This is especially true if you're operating as an S-Corp currently. We're going to show you when, why, and how to use Wyoming as the LLC formation state. When your properties are not in Wyoming, we're going to give you lots of precious gems to protect you and your family. Plus, you are going to get easy to follow online instructions and audio training. This is an informative fun format. This was recorded by Al. He and I developed this program together. But what I can tell you is all of the slides that I am reviewing with you today were done by Al. We follow the exact same materials. If you're here, Al speak again, but I will be available through Q&A online email support to help you. Now, one of the things you got to understand is 
These documents are written in plain English. In fact, I got a call one time from a lawyer saying, why would you write this the way it is? It doesn't look like an attorney wrote it. And I said, that's the point. He said, why is that? I said, because I don't want these people to think they have to hire an attorney every time they have a problem. So what ultimately legal language does is takes power away from the business owner and puts it into the hands of the attorney. What we are doing is we are creating plain language documents. It demonstrates that you know the tricks that are played by lawyers. It puts control in your hands and takes it out of the lawyer's hands. So these great ease of use features also include a detailed table of contents for easy reference, larger print, we've got user friendly checklists, and we have cross references from text to audio and audio to text. You will not get this system anywhere. You're not going to get it from a law firm. You're not going to get it from a CPA firm, other speakers. This is it. This is the place where you can get our document creation system. Here's another testimonial. I purchased from just about all the so-called big name asset protection speakers out there. I tell you their courses are not even close to yours as the quality content and ease of use. And that is uh, Muriel Tomei from Florida. Thank you, Bill. I purchased an LLC package from an asset protection expert. He was a great guy with some good material, but unlike yours, not real estate focused. But he did hit my wallet. That's one of the things we want to avoid for you. This system is for everyone, whether you're involved as a landlord, apartment buildings, flips, REOs, whatever the case may be, anything real estate related, whether you are a longtime veteran investor, full-time, part-time, beginner, doesn't matter, especially if you're a beginner, now's the time to get this. So we're going to give you some great customer support services with this. You're going to have the access to our online document creation system. You will fill out these documents. And if you have questions about the documents, you can email us and we will respond generally. Typically, we try to do it that day, but certainly within 24 hours. And that is our six-month email helpline. We'll give you answers to the questions as you are pursuing creation of your LLC or replacing old LLC documents with these recent LLC documents that you will be printing out. By the way, this document management tool does allow you to edit things to make them change them for your benefit. However, I would suggest that there should be very few edits unless you have some real in-depth knowledge because that can get you into trouble. These documents were developed for real estate investors and you shouldn't have to make many changes. Another testimonial, you have the best email response system in the country, more so than any national speaker from Frank Chen. Another one, thank you for your concern. I can tell from the way you answer questions, you have a genuine concern for the success of your students. Even at 10 p.m., you answer with such concern. I try to do the same thing for our students now today. That was Rand Cliff Conyers. Look, you can share this material with your attorney or CPA for your benefit. They're absolutely welcome to review it, to use it for you. What they're not allowed to do is turn around, photocopy it, and then start issuing it to their clients. So, but you're certainly absolutely allowed to provide them a copy of the operating agreement and the other documentation for you. Also, if you like, we can refer you to asset protection specialists, but you really don't need to do those things. That's the way I put it. If you want, we can point you in the direction of someone like that, but we really think that you are fine without the need to hire someone. So ultimately, with these benefits, this can be worth thousands of dollars, and I'm not going to ask you to pay thousands of dollars. What you're going to get in the mail is our membership certificate signed by me. Look, this is what it would be worth, $2,895, but I'm not asking you to pay that. $1,495, that seems much more reasonable for something that many attorneys are charging $1,000, $1,500 for bare bones documents that don't help you as a real estate investor. But you compare this to the thousands of dollars that you're going to save in lawsuits, legal fees, judgments, plus time and aggravation. We had a student who deducted his real estate education. Adam, he sent in a letter. He saved $5,800 in taxes, avoiding a lawsuit. Natasha, with her power attorney letter, saved $11,000 plus attorney's fees. We had a lady that didn't have to pay foreign entity registration fees. You can save this money and put it into an IRA. Plus, of course, 
don't forget that this is a absolutely tax deductible investment. This is the tax law citation that you have. You are getting a great benefit included in this program. Okay, that is the price, $995, less than $1,000. The distinction of this new system from any other course, it's an asset protection system which has carefully designed documents and meticulous detail specifically and only for real estate investments to protect you from all kinds of assets. One last testimonial, Al, I'm so impressed with the extent and thoroughness that's evident in the materials, you've left no stone unturned. It would cost a fortune in attorney or CPA fees to come up with any documents even close. But if you buy today, what you're going to get also is a free professional LLC setup in any state with a great company. What they'll ask you to do is hire them to be their registered agent. But you want to have a separate registered agent so people do not know that you are the owner of your company. That is not something that's typically on the public record. A registered agent shields your ownership interest from the public record. Also, I'm going to give you an additional six months of email Q&A support. So now you're looking at one year's benefit for email support. Look at that. That's a $1,500 value right there. Lastly, we're going to give you a free report, subject to, as you probably know, is you buy a property and you continue to pay the original mortgage. But a big problem is there are IRS agents and CPAs disallowing property deductions because you're not getting a 1098 statement in your name having paid. We're going to show you how to fully claim these deductions on subject to mortgages. This will also include tax reductions for strategies for sellers and why they might want to agree to a subject to mortgage transaction, why they're legal with legal precedent, and a better way to obtain financing other than banks. So that program is also going to be in there. This is a $500 value included in our program today only. Look at all this. You're getting the free LLC setup. You're getting one year of email support, Q&A help. You're going to get our subject to report. We've got an extra $100 coupon. This makes it $895. That is the price. That is the only price. This is for today only. I do not have a website. I will not give you a website. By the way, please don't call me and say you want to hire me. I only work with people who have bought our program and are students of mine. So if you Google me and call me up and say, I want to hire you, and you saw me on this webinar, I will say I'm sorry, I cannot do that. If you want access to me, you buy the program today. We're giving you a system that avoids expensive tax results, reduces your IRS audit risk, limits to no complexity without costing a fortune while avoiding expensive lawyers. All this for only $895 today only. I've covered a lot of material today. I appreciate everyone for listening to the program. I know it might be a little longer than they're used to, but I think that this is a great investment, and I hope you'll agree. Absolutely, Bill. And I want to say thank you so much for going to so much detail today. You know, I got to tell you, this is probably easily one of the best presentations, man, on asset protection and LLCs I have ever heard. You know, it really woke me up, you know, in many ways that LLCs could protect you, you know, and save a lot of money in so many ways, but, you know, that they have to be set up and operated correctly, you know, the way that your system will easily show everyone on today's call. Now, I'm also really impressed that this system pertains to existing LLCs and not just like the new startups, um, you know, and that power attorney letter that you guys use, which your students use to blow away that lawyer with having to pay a, a lawyer herself is incredible. But the big plus here is that power elite trust system, which, you know, I honestly cannot believe you're including this with everyone who orders today, you know, along with the free LLC setup, the power attorney letter, you know, you're really including everything that everybody needs to set up a ironclad LLC. So they're going to be protected for pretty much the rest of their, you know, investing career. You know, this alone is worth the investment, everyone, and much more. You know, this is a new system. It's complete. It's current. Bill always is updating it with the forms, documents, whatever you need. Uh, he's there to always, you know, support you guys. So I cannot see how anyone can have a properly structured LLC and asset protection plan without this one of a kind program. So I strongly recommend that you guys all go there and get Bill's powerful, newly recreated system at the low investment of 895, which I'm pretty sure is going to be gone 
probably by the end of this week. I don't want you guys to miss out on this opportunity, okay? So this is a special webinar special with the bonuses. Uh, I just want you guys to be able to save on all these attorney fees, which we know can, can put you out of business at times, you know, really use this course and what we teach you here, you know, to get all these tax deductible investments and save a ton of money. So please go to reiclub.com forward slash LLC. We'll have the order page there. You know, I know you guys had a lot of questions today. Uh, we try to answer them throughout the presentation, but for any reason we weren't able to get to you, shoot me an email at jv at reiclub.com. Let us know you have a question about today's LLC webinar. We'll make sure that we have someone to contact you, answer your questions so we can get you on board and uh, starting the system so you can start saving money right away. Okay, and again, that's reiclub.com forward slash LLC. You can also go to the RA Club homepage at the top of the website. You'll see at the very top, it'll say click here for the special offer. You can do that as well. It'll take you right to the order page. So uh, with that being said, I know we ran a little bit over what we planned, Bill. Um, but what I like to do is usually when we conclude these calls, you know, if there's any final thoughts that you may want to share with our audience before uh, we shut this down. is you know, So I'll go ahead and pass this over to you. Okay, great. Well, Frank, thank you for having me. I've had a wonderful time explaining our program in addition to all the benefits that you've already described everyone listening needs to remember that you'll have access to me to send email questions with regard to the implementation of this llc program so i'll be able to assist and guide you in that regard i appreciate the opportunity for everyone to listen to me and um, i can assure everyone who's listened that this is the absolute best LLC system if you're committed to growing a portfolio in real estate. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much again, Bill. Always a pleasure having you on. We love our relationship with you. Our students do too. You've done so much for us. Uh, with that being said, again, guys, this is riclub.com. Frank Chen, thank you so much for being here with us. We look forward to talking to you guys next time. Take care, good investing, and bye-bye.